Hey guys, Brandon back with another FM Live, and today we're going to talk about drive shafts. So, as always, if you have questions, put them in the comments. We'll get to them hopefully live. If not, we'll get to them after the fact. So, drive shafts, pretty necessary part. Maybe not the sexiest thing ever, um, but something that you need if you actually want your car to move uh, beyond just rolling it down a hill. So, we have replacement drive shafts. So, why do you want a replacement drive shaft? Well, the stock drive shaft is actually pretty good um, in terms of power handling until you get completely bonkers, um, in terms of weight, in terms of all that kind of stuff, it's actually good. Uh, where it gets, where it falls down a little bit, particularly as these cars get older, is notchiness in the U-joints. So this is a brand new one, so there is no notchiness. But that notchiness can, can present as maybe a squeak, probably a growl or a vibration, um, something like that. So if you have a vibration in your car uh, that does not go away even though you balanced your wheels, it's probably the, the drive shaft. <clears throat> so, so another problem that mm, can happen with these, we don't really see it too much in, in Miatas, is if there's a clunk as you get on and off the throttle, there's just a subtle clunk, it could be a failure in the U-joint. Um, if it's a big clunk, it's either something else or you better check that thing real quick or something very dramatic is going to happen. Uh, but again, that's not, usually it's notchiness in the U-joints that, that uh, are the problems that we see. So you can't really check the drive shaft on the car for play. So I'll show you on this one real quick. We have Ethan's lovely uh, 1.6 here. So the thing is, if you take your drive shaft and go like this, there's play, right? That's bad, right? Mm, no, not necessarily. That's play in the differential that you're feeling. Um, so you can't really feel play. I mean, you can kind of try to do that, but you're, you're really, you're not gonna feel it. So what you need to do is take these uh, four nuts and bolts out, uh, and then you can take the whole drive shaft out, and then you can move the two halves to see if it's notchy. It should, it should move pretty smoothly. If it doesn't, that's an indication that your U-joints are bad. So, uh, next logical question, why don't you just replace the U-joints? Well, you can't in a stock drive shaft. There are some people who say maybe you can, kind of, sort of, but they're not intended to be serviceable. You're supposed to just replace the drive shaft as a whole. That's one of the nice things about our drive shaft. So, the you can actually replace these U-joints. These U-joints are easily uh, accessible, or easily sourced, I should say, at any local auto parts store. Um, so you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Uh, they are a little bit unique, and they may not look replaceable, but the C-clip uh, is actually inside of there. So you may or may not be able to take your, uh, see it, but take my word for it, they are replaceable. So they are dynamically balanced as well. Um, one thing to kind of note, you take the four nuts off on this side, you have to kind of slide it in a little bit to get that lip out, drop it, take it out, easy peasy. Um, that will, you might get a couple of drips of fluid out of your transmission output, probably not very many. If you are actually dropping the transmission, we have a transmission output plug that will keep you from getting dirty. So uh, that is a good thing to do. One other thing to check while you're in there, sorry, Travis, we're gonna come back over here. Um, lots of times when, when somebody does a clutch job on, the, uh, on a Miata, uh, you take the power plant frame off, you take the transmission out, you swap the clutch, you put it back in. Uh, if you don't pay attention or if you don't know, you may get the alignment between the diff, uh, nose of the diff and the tail of the trans wrong. So there is a specific measurement. Um, you measure from your frame rails and <clears throat> if they're maybe off of a stanced car that has been ground out repeatedly, you'll have to kind of make some guesses as far as what your measurements are. But if your frame rails are in good shape, straight edge across here, measure up to the PPF, and it should be uh, 60, 60 to 72 millimeters between your straight edge and the power plant frame. Um, and we have more specific instructions uh, for that in our clutch instructions. So that's a good thing to, 
to check while you're down here because with the age of these cars, it's, it's reasonably likely that that's not right anymore. So, so let's see. Ah, yes. So we do have two versions. Uh, there's a 1.6 version and a 1.8 version, and they're going to follow the differential for the most part. So the 1.6 version is for any car, I mean, obviously Miata, but any Miata that has a 1.6 diff, automatic or manual. The 1.8 version is for all manual 1.8 Miatas. And again, that's, that's dependent on what differential you have in the car. So if you have a 1.8 diff behind a 1990 engine and transmission in the 90 chassis, you need a 1.8 drive shaft. So uh, the 1.8 drive shaft works for 94 to 05 Miatas, uh, manual Miatas, and it works for 94 to 97 auto Miatas. Uh, the 99 to 05 auto Miatas do need a different drive shaft, which we don't currently have. So check my notes here. I think that is it. So yeah, again, short version. The stock drive shaft is actually fine. You don't need to replace it until you have issues with the U-joint, at which point I would recommend replacing it with something better uh, that has replaceable U-joints such as our option here. Also, you can see these nubs here. This is from balancing. So these are dynamically balanced drive shafts, no vibration, good quality stuff. We've been selling these for years. There's good stuff for sure. So we have some questions. <clears throat> Number one, why would you need a drive shaft? Um, that is because you would like for your car to be mobile under its own power. If, why do I need a new replacement drive shaft? Like I said, realistically, it's because your U-joints are notchy. If your U-joints aren't notchy, there's no growling, vibration, squeak, clunk, whatever. Awesome. Stick with the stock one. It's fine. How do you know if you need a new drive shaft? Getting repetitive here. Vibrations, clunking, that kind of thing. And if there's any question, easy enough to unbolt it and uh, see if there's any kind of notchiness there. So the, if I have a little slack in my U-joints, does that mean I need to replace my drive shaft? Literally, yes, there should be zero play between the drive shaft and the flange. Realistically, if you're saying that because you grab the drive shaft while it's in the car and you can do this with it, that's not playing the drive shaft. That's backlash in the differential, and that's actually a very precise setup measurement that uh, needs to be there, but point being does not indicate that there's anything wrong. If you're suspicious, unbolt it, check the U-joints for notchiness. Why can't you replace the U-joints on the factory drive shafts? Because they're not designed that way from the, from the beginning. Um, they don't have C-clips. They're not meant to slip out of the bores for the U-joint itself. Uh, Anything's possible if you try hard enough, but it's probably not a realistic thing to do for most people. And I would argue probably not worth the effort for basically everybody. These are not terribly expensive uh, drive shafts and you do it right. And you don't have to worry about, well, did I abuse the U-joint too much getting it in or what? So anyway, uh, how much power can the FM drive shafts hold? I don't know, but plenty. Um, 400 man torque i don't i don't know what our highest 350 400 something pound feet of torque um it, it, short version i have never seen nor can i recall hearing of a stock drive shaft failure uh because it was insufficient for the task you know if, if a tire iron bounces up off the highway and puts a giant dent in this all the structural integrity is gone and that thing can't handle can't transmit any torque anymore but realistically Short version, plenty. If you're building a ridiculous drag car, that's a different situation. Are the FM drive shafts lighter than stock? I don't actually know. Um, haven't weighed them, but I would not anticipate it, and I would not buy it for that reason. Will these hold more power than stock? Um, maybe. I wouldn't actually be surprised if they held more power than stock, but stock is still sufficient, so unless you're going really crazy, you just don't have to worry about it. Suggested upgrade path for a performance build? Sure, because you have a, a replaceable U-joints. Where can I buy just the replacement U-joints? Just about anywhere. So any auto parts store should have these U-joints. Um, part numbers are on our website for the U-joint itself, or give us a call and we can help you out. What cars will these fit? 
Miata's different version for 1.6, 1.8, follow the differential. Um, we don't have an option currently for 99 to 05 automatic cars. Are the drive shafts interchangeable? Again, follow the differential. Um, so yes, with the giant asterisk on there. <laughs> so if you interchange the drive shaft and the differential, sure. Uh, outside of that, no, you cannot mix and match the 1.6 and the 1.8 drive shafts if everything else in the drivetrain is the same. So, okay, uh, that is all the questions that I have. Do we have more? Does the FM version have grease fittings in the bearing caps? Uh, does the FM version have grease fittings in the bearing caps? No, there are no grease fittings in here. We don't typically see a need to re-grease them a lot on these cars. Um, yeah, there's very little grease in there. Uh, so, but no, to answer your question, no, there are no grease fittings on there. And that's it. Okay. Well, thank you as always for stopping by. Uh, if you have more questions, drop them in the comments. We'll get to them there. If you liked it, give us a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We will put links in the description for both of the drive shafts uh, and stop back next week. We will be back with another FM Live. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.